Hey there, science buffs. Imagine a world where fruit trees bear their bounty year after year, yet their seeds lay dormant, waiting for creatures that no longer roam the earth. Sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, right? Well, this is actually happening in various ecosystems across the globe. These plants, known as evolutionary anachronisms, continue to produce fruits that were once dispersed by now extinct animals. Before humans took center stage, megafauna, like mammoths, giant sloths, and woolly rhinoceroses roamed the earth. These massive creatures played a crucial role in shaping their ecosystems. Many plants evolved alongside these giants, developing fruits perfectly suited for consumption and dispersal by such large animals. Today, these plants bear marks of a bygone era, with fruits that often seem oversized or oddly shaped for the animals currently around. Take the avocado, for instance. This creamy fruit, a favorite in modern cuisine, is a prime example of an evolutionary anachronism. Its large seed suggests it was once consumed by giant mammals, capable of swallowing it whole and dispersing it over large distances. Today, no native animal serves this role in the avocado's natural habitat. Although humans have adopted the fruit for cultivation, the avocado's original evolutionary partner is long extinct. The Osage orange is another intriguing case. Native to the southern United States, its distinctive green bumpy fruit was likely dispersed by mammoths and other large herbivores. With these animals gone, the fruit now falls to the ground largely ignored by contemporary wildlife. Its continued existence raises questions about the resilience of ecosystems and the lasting impact of extinction events. In tropical Central and South America, the calabash tree is a relic of the past. Its hard, gourd-like fruit was probably a treat for the now extinct gomphotheres, prehistoric relatives of elephants. While some birds and bats consume the fruit today, they aren't as effective in seed dispersal as the tree's original partners. This mismatch in the ecosystem highlights the delicate balance that once existed and the challenges faced by plants in adapting to new realities. The ice cream bean, with its sweet, edible pulp, also relied on an extinct animal for seed dispersal. Giant ground sloths, roaming the Americas thousands of years ago, were likely key dispersers of this fruit. Without these sloths, the ice cream bean has had to rely on other methods for dispersal, including human cultivation. This shift underscores the adaptability of some species, even as they lose their original ecological partners. While the extinction of their primary dispersers poses a challenge, many plants have shown remarkable resilience and adaptability. Some have developed alternative methods of seed dispersal, like water or wind, while others have formed new partnerships with animals. These adaptations highlight the dynamic nature of ecosystems and the ongoing dance of evolution in response to environmental changes. In a twist of fate, humans have become vital dispersers of many of these ancient fruits. Our agricultural practices and global trade networks have allowed plants like the avocado and ice cream bean to thrive beyond their original habitats. By cultivating and consuming these fruits, humans inadvertently continue the legacy of the megafauna, ensuring the survival of these plants in a world that has dramatically changed since their evolution. Understanding these dynamics is crucial for conservation efforts. It provides insights into the long-term impacts of extinction and the importance of interspecies relationships. The story of Fruits Without Eaters is not just a tale of loss, but also one of hope and opportunity. It challenges us to consider our role in the natural world, and the impact of our actions on ecosystems. By supporting conservation efforts and promoting biodiversity, we can help ensure these evolutionary relics continue to thrive, serving as living reminders of the past and beacons for a more sustainable future. Thanks for watching and stay curious.